Jeff Gibbons here with another virtual instrument video. And in this one, I'm gonna go over a bunch of the instruments that are sold by output. And what I wanna do is give you an idea of what these different instruments are like so that you know what you're getting into and you can decide whether these are the kind of instruments that are right for you. The ones I'm gonna be looking at are analog strings, substance, exhale, signal, analog brass and winds, rev and x loops and the reason i'm showing them is because these specific instruments are going on sale for the next couple weeks but if you watch this after the sale it still gives you an idea of what these instruments are all about so i'm not going to dig into the details this is going to be just a very surface level look in the sale they're also including 10 of their expansions for these instruments and so i'll show you some of those along the way as well because you're going to have to choose between some of those so let's start with signal it is a pulse engine virtual instrument and if i go over to the browser actually right here i can go through the patches just by using complete control so um, i don't have a camera shot of this but i'm just going to cycle through the sounds So all I need for this one is something kind of rhythmic and pulsing. So I'm going to go to the different types and I'm going to go to a percussion one. So that's, all, that's what I want here is a percussion kind of loop. I kind of like this last one. So I'm going to load that up. And the thing about my project here is that I'm actually almost half that tempo. I'm at 66 beats per minute. So let's hear what that sounds like now. So let's have a look at Signal. What we've got in Signal is two different pulse engines. So it's kind of like two layers. And each one of those engines has two potential rhythms on it. So you could really have four complex rhythms happening at the same time. And then we've got four macros that we can assign to controls and complete control or machine or any other controller. And this button in the middle turns the pulse engine on or off. So. So you can play it as a normal patch if you turned off the pulse engine, play it on the keyboard. But now, of course, I want this pulse engine on. So you can really do some cool polyrhythm stuff with this pulse engine. Let's turn off some of these rhythms to see what we've got. Second rhythm. Now let's try this one. Okay, let's try taking this one here and setting it to a dotted 32nd note. That sounds really cool. We're getting some interesting polyrhythm happen there. So we can see the different sounds we've got down below. I can click on sticks and change that to something else. Or claps. That sounds kind of neat. I also like the way they've got this laid out in the sense that you can go through, try something out and then go, you know what? I totally mangled the sound. I don't like what I'm doing there and just hit cancel and you go back to the way it was. We can also go from sampled instruments in here. We can go over to synths and we've got just some synthesizer sounds. So, oh, that sounds awesome actually. I'm gonna go with this one right here, this clean poly. That sounds nice. And you can see the rhythms down below as well. Let's play around with this pattern just a little bit. So I'm just gonna turn off this layer B just for a second so that we can really hear the difference. So there's a little power button right there. Let's go over to this pattern right here. Try out some different patterns. I'm not going to go over the complexities here, but there is a lot of stuff under the hood here and stuff that you'd want to dig into and get to know so that you can get the most out of the instruments that you're, that you're buying. So let's stick with that rhythm right now and see how it works with this little idea. So I'll show you what we've got here. I'm going to drop this in. All I want is an A that's kind of going and then going down to an F. So I'm going to drop it in. Now just remember when you're entering in these rhythmic things, if your timing is a little bit off when you first play the note in, it's going to sound completely out. But then of course you can quantize it and get it perfect. So whenever you use any of these rhythmic things in any DAW, make sure that you quantize, even if that goes against your values. So let's uh, play some notes in and then we'll listen to the little idea. Okay, I'll 
save the rest for later, quantize that. And then the other thing I do in Cubase is select the notes and quantize the lengths just so that my rhythmic patches end exactly at the right time. But maybe what I'll do is I'll go to the effects section here and you've got effects for pulse A, pulse B, and of course we've got effects for both of them at the same time. So I'm gonna go to this little filter section here and turn it on and then just maybe cut back some of the high frequencies on this. Turn up the delay a bit and then play with the reverb a bit. Let's maybe take it to a large hall. Okay, so on this next track, I have another signal. So this one is from the tape loop expansion. So this is the patch browser. So you can see these different tags for the patches so you can kind of thin out the amount of patches on the right hand side when you're looking for something. So maybe you don't want something too complex. So you just choose simple and a pluck and maybe a syncopated thing. And then that will thin out the amount of patches on the right hand side. So these are the basic patches up top. And then we can see the expansions. We've got adrenaline, we've got cinematic, we've got the classic analog and the glow expansion, as well as the tape loop one. So those are the different expansions that I've got loaded in here and I've been kind of playing through them. I've also got an exhale patch in here. So let's have a quick look at that one. Exhale is a very cool instrument, all about vocals, vocal samples, vocal patches, and vocal slices that you can manipulate. So let me load up a blank one actually for starters. You've got note based patches that are just notes that you can play. And so they've got it stretched over a certain range of the keyboard. Then we've also got loop based patches. And so with those ones, you can hear that they are a bunch of different loops on different keys. And for the loop based ones, all you have to do is click up here where it says the key. So right now this one says B flat. So there's a B flat on the piano and, and we can hear that all of those ones are in kind of a B flat sound. So if I want to take it down to A flat, now I just choose A flat. to Dreamy Oz. Let's try Ah uh, Real Monsters. And then we can start to thin things out with some tags right here. So let's go to Light and try some of these patches. Life Aquatic. And let's go back to notes for a second. And notes are where you're gonna find a lot of the expansions. So this is the ambient vocal expansion. And let's have a listen to that one. Ransom. try some of these indie ones where they indie vocals and let's have a listen to this one And then 
of course, all of these patches, is if we click over on the engine, we can start to see what's happening. So we've got two different sources that you can have on at the same time. We've got a way to add complex rhythms. We can click on the pattern and choose simple patterns or more complex patterns. I think the, the best thing to do when you get these patches is to start finding the ones you like and then figure out why you like them. What are they doing on that patch? Let's go over to loops for a second. If we click on the engine and we can see the loop right up top. And you can do things like choose where the sample starts from. Okay, so now we can look at the slices menu. I like this one a lot. Let's change the key on this one. And then we can set up rhythms that are going to affect our samples. We can put all sorts of effects on. That is Exhale, three different ways to play with samples and three really different sets of patches that it comes with. So it looks like it only has a few hundred to start with and then you realize those are just the notes. You've also got the loops that you can play with and the slices. So that is Exhale. And now let's look at the Substance Virtual Instrument. And then after I go through these preliminary walkthroughs, I'll show you just a bunch of different ideas that I've put together with these instruments. So this is Substance, shows up over here, and Substance is a bass virtual instrument. But you're gonna find all sorts of synthesizer sounds, it's not just basses. And to get to your patches in Substance, click right in the middle, and then up comes the preset menu. And when you make your own patches, you can choose your own tags as well, which is a great feature. So let's just listen to a couple of these patches. So they've got electric basses, synth basses, brass sounds, all sorts of different bassy instruments. There's even a timpani here. Kick sounds. Let's go to huge sounds. like some kind of creature. So a lot of these patches come with multiple layers and Substance has three different layers that you can have at any one time. So you can see these three different layers right here. Let's try turning them on and off. So there's the clean sub bass. Turn this one on. We got this prophecy organic sound and then here we've got some noise and I can click right on the volume right here just to turn that down maybe I want just a little bit of it turn this one on we've got prophecy up let's turn it down as well turn the noise down even more and then the sub bass back on And then we've got the different macros that are automatically assigned to your complete control if you're using that. And inside Substance, if you click this edit button, you can see your three different layers and you can turn them on and off right here. And then there's all sorts of stuff we can do. Control the envelope right here, the panning, the tuning, all of that kind of stuff. There's an advanced tab where we can set up some key ranges for these different sounds. Go over to the EQ section which is fairly self-explanatory, global EQ for the whole patch and then separate EQ for each of the individual layers. And then we've got filters, effects, and rhythms. And then there are other patches that you can get in expansions. And so this one is the bass bass expansion. 
at 66 beats per minute right now so I should probably change that to like 120 try radioactive So some really aggressive, but really great sounding bass patches. That one is the booty bass. So it's not just a clever name. And this one is dystopian bass. I'm just on the huge patches right now, by the way. Let's go look at maybe some that are plucky. So that gives you an idea of some of the sounds. I'm really just scratching the surface on this. If you do end up buying the, the pack together, it's a lot to take in all at once. And you're gonna wanna dig in and just find patches and know where to click. So hopefully this is getting you close to that with this video. Okay, so now let's look at analog brass and winds. I'll take you through these ones much quicker now that you have an idea of how these instruments work. But analog brass and winds, this one is taking brass and winds and combining them with synthesizers. Click on the, on the title right here to get to the browser. This one does give you the ability to save favorites, which I really like. And let's just have a listen to a few patches. <laughs> We can hear brass and winds, and uh, so so a wind section. Oh, that's just awesome! I love it when a patch just makes me want to make a song right away. Let's look at a couple of the expansions on this one. We've got the airlift and brass knuckles. I've gone through a lot of these patches and they're very expressive, very ambient, beautiful for soundtracks. look at some of the other patches. This is the brass knuckles. Probably going to be a little more aggressive. I think the analog brass and winds and the analog strings are my second and third favorites beneath uh, Signal as far as rating them in order. Let's leave that one. You can see the different controls. I've got something that controls rhythm. I can add more of a pulse. 
kind of a gate, and then tone, kind of a filter, and then effects. Okay, so here is analog strings, and it's very similar to analog brass and winds. Click the middle for the preset menu, and we've got the same sort of idea there. So let's have a listen to some patches. Some, a lot of pizzicato stuff in here. Analog strings, we've got modern string beds and neon strings. I don't want those plucky sounds. I go to the main window and I just turn on this A or turn off A. Then let's also look at the rev instruments and these ones are loop based. So I can drop this one in. So I won't go too much into detail with these but basically it loads a bunch of loops onto the keys and then you can choose the key of the loop with a control key. So I've got a loop right here. And I can change the key of it by holding one of the red keys down below. So if I hold down this key and then hold down, now they're all gonna be in this key. Bunch of different loops. And then if I want to change the key, play the same note up top and change down below. So that's how they approach the music based loops. And you've got the two different key sets to change right there. And then we've got also got some instruments in here. And the idea behind Rev was to have backwards sounds. So reversed sounds. So it's an entire library based on reversed sounds. To get to the browser for this one, just click the little drop down menu and you'll see the, the patches show up right here. And down at the bottom, you'll see some of your expansions if you pick those ones up. So let's go to um, Plucked, try some of the, the loops out, double click. backward sounds and then if you don't like one of the layers you can just go turn it off so there's layer one and layer two and just click the layer and that will turn it off and if we go over to X loops we have something very similar so I've got X loops this one comes with a bank of loops so you can click right here and see this different bank of loops and I'm using that in some of the other little projects which I'll show you in a second and so I think in one of them I'm using this tribal beat and if they are pitched again you use your left hand here to change the key of the loop. So let's go look at the different ideas now that you've had a really brief look at all of the different instruments 
and I'll show you some of the standout things that I liked about some of these different ideas that I came up with. Okay, so here is the first one. Let's have a listen to this Cubase project one. So that is entirely output instruments except for the one damage track. So that one, probably the standout is this, this analog strings. If anybody knows of the sort of minimalist composer Steve Reich, that's what that one reminds me of. It's just got uh, uh, some really, I love the organic string sounds. I'm, I'm surprised that they they sound that strong because they sound like they're from a professional string library. So let's load up some of the other projects. I think this is one of the first ideas I came up with. Probably started with uh, this sound right here. So. And I just love this kind of gliding thing that was happening. So if I'd go from one note to the next. I love that. And each one of these little machine ideas has a machine drum beat in it as well. But let's have a look at another one. So this one, we got some vocal samples that I'm triggering. We've got a drum kit. We've also got analog strings in there. Doing some kind of pulsing stuff. We've got a bass coming from substance. It's kind of poppy with a little bit of bright reverb. And then we've also got some Rev X loops in here. Let's have a listen to that. It's kind of fun. Let's have a listen to the whole thing. And then we've got a signal track in there also. So we got a signal bell playing just like an instrument, so not using the rhythmic portion of it. So you do get some sounds out of that. And then we've got some vocal things happening in there. Let's have a look at the next one. All right, this one I'll just play. We've got some Rev X loops. We've got some brass and then a chaos theory is a signal patch. So a pulsing signal patch. Let's have a listen. <laughs> So this one definitely feels more like a soundtrack. We've got that inception thing happening, the bra big thing happening in there. And yeah, let's have a listen to this one. So we've got analog strings on that strings lead. We've got a signal pulsing thing happening in there. We've got the sub bass, analog brass and winds, rev guitar, and another signal patch at the beginning. Let's just have a look at the rev guitar one. I'm a sucker for reverse guitar. And then with this one, I've got a rev 
timed loop in here. So I'll solo that one first just so you can hear what that's doing. So this is just an instrument that I can play, of course. So Rev has that as well. It doesn't just have loops. We've got a kit, we've got a signal pulsing thing happening in here, a sub bass, analog brass and winds, and then another kit as well. So let's have a listen to all of that. All right, and here is my last little idea. And on this one, I started with Rev X loops. Then I've got a drum kit. And then I've got analog strings, analog brass, and an exhale patch. And I think this is kind of the key patch on this one. I hope this gives you a good idea of what to expect when you're looking at these libraries. There's so much in there, so many great sounds, so many great ways to change the sounds, but it can be a little overwhelming at first. So thanks for watching. Make sure you go check my old videos, especially check out my video on synthesis basics. If you don't know what an ADSR envelope or an LFO is, make sure you go check that one. I'll put a link to that video. And that's a good starting point for getting into the under the surface stuff for any of these virtual instruments. Hit the subscribe button and the bell and we'll see you in the next video.